Hello, welcome to Tango Discovery Week uh, 25. Uh, this exercise is uh, the same exercise you've been doing in um, Tango 100% Improvisation, but now we're going to start to do it on uh, Tango Awareness, which means no hands, no grabbing, so you can start to have better and much control uh, about how, uh, how important it is to gesture what you want with your partner. And in this case, uh, Tamara uh, is going to show up how well can she read, let's say, what I want to express. So at the beginning, relax, because you're going to do all the possible mistakes until you start to understand uh, each other a little better. So the first exercise is... Uh, same thing as 100% improvisation, but now with no hands, so you can start to gain control. And it is, we're going to count four of her steps, okay? One, two, three, four, and hopefully I'm going to lead an open step and she's going to follow it. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, without further ado, here's the exercise, okay? So, it is one, two, three, four open step one two three 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 four open step yeah simple enough so uh, you do that with the open step now you do that for example with the front cross Okay, so here we go. It's one, two, three, four, front cross. 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 Just one uh, thing, it's a very simple exercise. Just to remind you so you can start to do this at your own level, it means when you already gain control of this, from one to four, I mean, you, uh, there's no need only to just walk, but you could dance. From one to four, you can do anything according to your own level. If you are more a beginner, for example, this exercise, I will do it just with a turn. It's the simplest uh, way to do it. So you do, for example, one, two, three, Four, front cross. 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 Yeah? So it's, uh, in, a, in a turn, it's super simple. If you are a little bit more advanced, you know, walk. One, two, three, four, front cross. One, two, three, for front cross. If you are more advanced, it's one, two, three, four, front cross. 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 One, two, three, four, Front cross, yeah? So get as wild as you can. <clears throat> Relax with the mistakes. It's fine. For example, right now, I was taking her a little bit ahead of time of what she can respond to. Yeah. Right? Cool. You know, that's cool. Test your limits until you start to make mistakes. If there are too many mistakes, then you back up a little bit and you slow down. So the point is, you don't do it so slow that it's boring to you. You get it? <clears throat> uh, and you don't do it so fast that you get frustrated uh, by the exercise. But rather you keep, you know, a general level of where you can pay attention to it and you can drive it through. And of course, uh, you know, test each other. Uh, with speed. So the last one I'm going to show you, obviously, is going to be one, two, three, four, uh, back cross. 
And I'm going to show it to you in an intermediate level, so it's easy to see. So it's one, two, three, four, back cross, 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 one, two, three, four, back cross. Perfect. Yeah? Okay, so that's it. Keep the frame, keep cool, happy. See you on the next one.